Hey, what up, everybody? CB Breach coming to you. Wanted to give you my uh, quick thoughts about the WB moving over to uh, Yahoo. Uh, pretty soon, their deal with uh, YouTube will be uh, null and void, and more than likely, I will, I would think that they're gonna just pack up their things and leave. Uh, they'll probably take all their videos down, and um, I don't know. It's been a pretty good run over the last uh, last year. I know for a good long time I didn't have cable, and I was using the uh, WB. Um, YouTube account uh, to, to keep up with Monday Night Raw. Uh, there was a lot of times I was uh, coming home, uh, you know, during the stream, and I was using the time during the commercials to catch up, you know, watching the things in the front. They always did a real good job of um, putting up the the show as it went along. So it was only one or two segments behind most of the time. I don't know if anybody ever anybody else ever used it like that. Uh, the one bad thing about it was that, that um, a lot of the stuff they put up there was edited. Uh, but there's a good chance that more than likely, if WWE thought they could, they should edit it and didn't need to put it up on uh, uh, up on the internet for everybody to watch that wasn't watching the show live, more than likely you didn't really need to see it in the long run. Uh, it was like sort of like watching an episode of uh, AM Raw uh, where they just basically cut all the shit out. Uh, it sort of shows you how valuable the three hours of Monday Night Raw is. Is when they upload it onto Hulu, they automatically cut it down to 90 minutes for you. Makes you wonder how much of that extra hour they really need. Uh, and, you know, what are they really uh, getting, uh, giving us in return for that little bit of money that USA is giving them? Um, you know, there are uh, some negatives uh, to them going over there. Uh, I don't know about you guys, I was subscribed to the account the whole time they were up, and it was awful nice that when, you know, when you got home, and one of the things I always do is go to YouTube uh, to see, you know, more than likely how my videos are doing, if my friends have uploaded videos, uh, see if there's any other wrestling discussion videos that I want to see. I think everybody else who's watching this video more than likely has the same sort of, you know, routine uh, when they get home or when they're into, uh, you know, uh, watching videos. A lot of times I like to uh, turn uh, uh, videos on when I'm either uh, folding clothes or washing the dishes or something like that. Most of you guys make videos. I don't really need to see what you guys are doing. Uh, as you're talking, unless you're like showing off an unboxing of a DVD that you got in, or a T-shirt, or you're um, showing off your autograph collections or your autographs that you get at shows and stuff like that. But um, that's how I do it. Um, but you know, it was always good because WB was always flooding YouTube with uh, clips that went along with the things that they were uploading uh, stories up on on WB.com. If they wrote a story about uh, you know. Uh, casket match for The Undertaker. They put up like seven clips of Undertaker casket matches. If a Battle Royal was coming up for Monday Night Raw, they would put up ten clips of Battle Royals throughout the years. So, you know, it was it was pretty cool to get you in the mood for a big match that was coming up. Um, now that that's not going to be there and it's going to be up on, on, uh, on Yahoo, I'm sure that they will uh, more than likely have the same sort of things put up on there. They'll probably just take the same sort of routine that they were doing to upload videos there, they'll put up on Yahoo. One problem for me is, I don't even know how the hell to watch videos on Yahoo. I know that, you know, when I go to Yahoo.com, and I go to check my mail, um, from, you know, my email, uh, thing, I always go to the front page, and then I click the button, I know you can press YahooMail.com, and it'll bring me to it, but I've always, in routine, just gone straight to Yahoo. And, you know, those front stories, uh, that come across the, you know, the front of the page, uh, sometimes they catch your eyes and you click on them and then there'll be a video uh, that, that's one of theirs it, you know, linked into the, into the story and you can watch that out. But I don't even know if there's a place you can go to just to straight up watch videos like a, like a YouTube inside of Yahoo. I don't even know where to go to see that. Um, there will be some positives and the more likely come out of this. You can see that when they signed their, um, their deal... Uh, to have their show put up on uh, on E, the Totally Divas show with um, the Dancing Fat Guys chick, the Bellas, and um, you know the two new girls, and then Natalia's on it. That was a front page story on Yahoo, and I don't think that was you know any major big news. I think that was just sort of you know Yahoo throwing them a bone for signing this deal and bringing them over there. I wonder if Yahoo knows that YouTube didn't even try to re-sign these guys, and it was. Well known that uh, YouTube, you know, signed this deal with uh, WB, and it was for a million dollars. I don't know if they got a deal and they signed them for cheaper, or if they signed them for the same amount, or maybe then they buckled up and they signed them more. I don't really know if there was any money to be made uh, by uh, by YouTube uh, to have these guys around, but for them not even to try and re-sign them after their one year was done, uh, it sort of it would show you that more than likely that, that they didn't make any money off of this deal. So. Um, 
I don't know. It, it could be a good thing if they, if they if WB and Yahoo take this, you know, sort of partnership and they can use it into like big storylines. What if at the end of freaking Monday Night Raw, they like, I don't know, they, 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 like the night they killed off Vince McMahon. What if that's a front page story on Yahoo and you're getting, I don't even know how many hits you would get off a story off the front page of being on Yahoo. Everybody goes to Yahoo uh, for almost everything, you know, a million, two million. I don't even know if that's, you know, cutting it short. But I mean, like, let's say, if, you know, the limit was the blow up and Vince McMahon died again and they throw that front page story on there and people read it and they believe it like it's, you know, uh, kayfabe or something like that how many of those people are going to turn into Monday Night Raw so in the long run maybe this could be a good thing if they really use this partnership to go to the long run and see what they're going to do like I said the bad things I don't even know where the hell they're going to hide these videos at for you to watch them I don't know if they're just going to be uploaded onto some sort of Yahoo server and they're going to be put on WB.com. I have no idea but they're paying them money for something and they better get something out of it so tell me what you guys think uh, if anybody else enjoyed their uh, time on there I know they had a long run of shows on there for you like the Dolph Ziggler download show that was a good one to watch I really liked the um oh shoot what was that the, the uh the Matthews and Road Dog show I can't even remember what the hell it was called uh with Puppet H Hopefully, if those uh, videos all get deleted, uh, you know, from uh, YouTube, hopefully they get stored somewhere on Yahoo. I don't want those to really go away. Honestly, if they made a DVD set of those and they put those on there, I honestly would buy them for whatever they would charge. I would love to have those uh, in my home collection. I don't know about you guys. What else are you guys missing? There wasn't a whole lot of stuff they put up there, but those are the two things that really came to my mind. The raw clips are always cool. My Zams are a few of them to keep them. Uh, I don't know if you guys did that, but that was one little secret I was doing as, thing, as time went along. Uh, but, yeah, this is Stevie Breach. Peace out. Have a nice night.